muna sa inyo yung standard form and slope intercept form. So, this is the standard form, A express BY is equal to C, where A, B, and C are all real numbers, and A and B are not both zero. While the slope intercept form, Y is equal to M express B, where M is the slope, alam na natin yan, and B is the Y intercept. So, kung sinabi Y intercept, dumaan siya sa Y axis. Where M and B are all real numbers. So, ang gagawin natin, by uh, writing standard form into slope intercept form and vice versa. Yung gagawin natin ngayon, slope intercept form into standard form. Okay, so we are going to rewrite the following equations. So, maya na yung iba. In the form ax plus by equals c. So, kailangan ganito yung itsura niya. Yung x natin, ang nandun sa una, plus or minus yung mga yan y is equal to yung constant natin ay yung nasa right side ng equation. Kaso dito, yung uh, naka-slope intercept form siya, yung slope intercept form, ito yung uh, x nandito. If this is negative x, so, lilipat natin doon sa kabila. Paano gagawin natin? So, ito, this is negative, apply the uh, addition property of equality. So, y since this is negative, para naging zero yan, this is negative, so mag a tayo ng positive x. And then copy plus 5. So this, since this is an equation, kung nag-add ka ng positive x dito, dito din, mag a ka ng x. Para pareho, pareho sila, balance. So zero na yan. So this is y plus x. I-arrange natin. x plus y is equal to, ang natira na lang dito is 5. So, x plus y is equal to 5. Number 2, we have y is equal to 3x minus 2. So, same pa rin. Uh, since this, uh, yung x natin, na yung variable na x natin ay nasa right side, na dapat ay nasa left side, gawa natin ang paraan. So, this is positive, negative. So, magdadagdag tayo ng positive 3x para maging 0 yan. And then, kung nagdagdag ka dito ng 3x, magdadagdag ka dito ng 3x. So, meron pa dito tayong minus 2. So, this is cancelled out. I-arrange natin. 3x plus y is equal to, natira dito is negative 2. Okay, for number 3, we have y is equal to 2x minus 7. Same process. Mapapansin, pag math naman talaga, paulit-ulit lang tayo ng process na ginagawa. Magkakaiba lang sila ng dito Kaya eventually, makakabisado nyo na rin, masasanin na rin kayo, basta makukuha nyo lang yung concept. So, 2x, this is positive, so magbabawas ka ng 2x. So, minus 2x para maging 0 yan, and then minus 7. Since nagbawas ka ng 2x dito, or nagdagdag ka ng negative 2x, nagdadagdag ka rin ng negative 2x dito. So, this is cancelled out. Kung ngayon, pag in-arrange natin, negative 2x plus y, kung ano yung sign doon sa right side, yung bago, bago, doon sa variable, yun yung kanyang sign. So, this is negative 7. Kaya lang, negative yung x natin, yung ax natin. Diba sabi ko sa inyo, uh, as much as possible, yung first term natin ay ginagawa natin positive. So, if this is uh, the case, this is negative, Ginagawa natin, pinumultiply natin sa negative 1. Lahat, since this is an equation, kung ano yung ginawa mo sa isang side ng equation, the same thing na nagawin mo doon sa isang side ng equation. Or, kung ayaw nyo na mag-multiply, pwede rin naman kayo mag-divide sa negative. Same lang naman. So, uh, multiply sa negative 1. Ibig sabihin, pag dinistribute natin yung negative 1 doon, lahat ng signs doon sa loob, mababago. So, if this is pos negative, magiging positive. This is positive, magiging negative. Equals, uh, this is negative, magiging positive. So, ito na yung ating standard form. Okay. We have number 4, y is equal to 2 thirds x plus 3. So, paano kagawin natin dyan? May fraction. So, yung ginagawa natin, o ginagawa ng iba, yung ginagawa talaga natin, dahil sa ating yung fraction, alisin natin, magawa natin ang paraan para mas madali. So, 3 yung denominator, kung totoo sin, kukunin mo yung LCD. 
So, one yung denominator dito, this is 3. And since it, 3 lang naman ang denominator, doon mo siya ipumultiply sa, uh, sa LCD niya. So, 3 is LCD. So, ipumultiply mo both sides of the equation sa 3. Tapos, i-distribute yun. So, i-distribute natin yun. So, magiging 3y is equal to, pag i-distribute natin yun, 2 thirds x times 3, magka-cancel out yun. Magiging 2 thirds x times 3, cancel out yun. So, ito na lang matisira. So, 2x. Hindi ko mo na-cancel out dito, wala na to ha. Kaya hindi ko kinancel out dito kasi baka mali po hindi nyo na-multiply dito. Meron pa rin siya dito. So, plus, 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Tapos, gawin natin yung ginawa natin kanina. So, yung 2x dito, nalagay natin doon sa kabila. So, 3y, since this is positive, so, nagdaragdag tayo ng negative, 2x, so, 2x minus 2x plus 9. Addition property of equality. So, this is cancelled out. Arrange, Negative 2x plus 3y equals 9. But this is negative. Multiply both sides by negative 1. And then all of the signs na all of the signs ng nasa loob ay magbabago. So this is 2x minus 3y equals negative 9. So this is your standard 4. Okay, so for our last example, we have y is equal to 3 fourths x plus so, dalawa yung denominators natin. Actually, yung target talaga natin kasi is giving whole number yung terms. Kaya LCD yung kinukuha natin. Doon tayo natin yung multiply. So, the LCD of 4 and 8 is 8. So, doon natin siya yung multiply sa 8. Tapos, yung distribute natin isa-isa. So, distribute natin. Pakita ko na lang muna ha para ma-practice. So, 8 times y is 8y times, sulat ko na lang muna, 3 fourths x times 8 plus 5 eighths times 8. Ayan, para mas malinaw. Tapos, saka tayo mag-cancel. So, this is 8y is equal to, so, ito may common factor, which is 8, 4. So, matitira dito 1, dito ay 2. So, multiply, 3x times 2 is 6x. Tapos, ito, cancel out na yan. 1 na lang. 1 plus 1. So, 5 times 1 is 5. Ayan. So, ngayon, gawin na natin yung ginawa natin ulit kanina. APE. So, A to Y, this is positive. So, mag-subtract ka ng 6X. 6X minus 6X plus 5. So, this is cancelled out. And then, uh, arrange natin. Negative 6X plus A to Y is equal to 5. And then, multiply sa negative 1. So, positive minus uh, 6x minus 8y is equal to negative 5.